This is Minan from the Value Investing How To channel. In this episode, I will answer this question uh, on the different types of uh, fundraising activities. Because one of my read recently uh, did a fundraising activity, which is by by issuing rights to the unit holders. Okay. So primarily, the fundamental activity of a uh, fundraising activity is to raise funds, such that the read manager can go and buy, can do something to it. One, and I'll share with you my preference of such fundraising activities. The first one, definitely, it's always better to grow the REIT portfolio. Why? Because yeah, it will affect us as uh, unit holders since uh, if there's more property income, the distributions they receive goes up. Two, second one uh, is uh, maintaining the quality of the buildings because uh, if the condition of the building is shabby. The tenants won't tenants won't come in, so there's no net property income. Okay. The last one in my preference is uh, reducing debt levels because uh, this gives me a signal that hey, uh, is the re manager what the capabilities of the re manager? How is it managing all its uh, expense, uh, interest expense? Because every year, every month, they, they need to pay the interest expense on the borrowings needed so uh, on identifying on identifying you equity uh, properties uh, I've recorded another video okay, uh, but just remember to finish watching this video and let's recap so the first thing in my preference is to grow the REIT portfolio two to improve the quality of the buildings and the last one is to reduce the bank borrowings uh, so the next round when you receive a fundraising activity document from your read, uh, make sure you read it and that's what I want to share. If you have questions, uh, keep, keep them coming and I will keep answering them. Oh, one last thing, drop your questions at the comments below. Bye!